Welcome to week 7 of Sable's 12 weeks of AX 2012 email series. My name is Anthony. This week we will be taking a look at landed costing within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Landed costing isn't a normal feature within AX 2012. Rather, it is another solution from Sable's Icon AX range of add-ons. In this video, we will be taking a look at order tracking within landed costing. To start, you need to have purchase orders, so navigate to procurement and sourcing within AX 2012. A shipment within landed costing is able to be part of a multiple purchase order, part purchase orders, purchase order lines from different vendors and even different entities. From here, navigate to landed costing, periodic shipment creator. These purchase orders are now ready to be shipped. We normally receive this information from the freight forwarder. Select the purchase order number and click update. The shipment will need to comprise of two 40 foot FCL containers, so we will split the purchase order lines into two containers, reduce the second quantity from 75 to 40 in the second line, select the second purchase order but do not amend the quantity. Select the setup tab and record the details of the vessel. Type a name, voyage number, select the journey template, in this case, we'll use Hong Kong to Dallas via the port of Long Beach. These multi-legs are also available within AX 2009. Enter a container and select the container type. Click Create Shipment. Tick all three boxes on the next form and click OK. This creates a shipment with the goods for the first container. Close the info log. Click on the Overview tab and select the remaining purchase orders for input into the second container. Click on the Setup tab. Click Add to Existing checkbox and select the shipment that we just created. Enter a new container ID, click add to shipment. Click on the text within the info log, this links to the shipment. The shipment record with the two containers and the lines within the container are shown here. Click on the purchase order number to open a purchase order. In AX 2012, we are compliant with the new delivery schedules functionality. This is new functionality which allows you to split the purchase order lines to track different delivery dates. Navigate to Landed Costing, Inquiries, Tracking and select Tracking. Select the shipment ID. There are four legs per container. Loading sailing between Hong Kong and Long Beach, clearing customs, and a local transport between Long Beach and Dallas. New in AX2012 is the ability to track multiple containers in one process. Click Update, Start Date to begin tracking. Select the leg and the start date. The date shown on the last leg of the journey will be the confirmed date on all of the purchase lines within these containers. To show the new confirmed date on one of the purchase order lines, Navigate to Purchase Line, Line Details, and the Delivery tab. The status of these lines is now 10 created. Navigate back to the Tracking and select the button Actual End Date. Once again, this allows for one date entry for multiple containers. Select the leg and enter a different date to the expected so that we can show the confirmed date on the purchase order line has been altered. Click OK. Navigate back to the purchase line to show that all purchase lines now have an updated status. In this case, 30 goods in transit. That's how we've configured it and also the confirmed date has been amended. This has been landed costing within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Next week we'll be looking at employee self-service.